I was ready. All right, testing one, two. Make this full. Testing one, two. Can anybody hear me? Am I am I on for the mission? I have a new motherboard and a new board installed, and this is my first time trying it. All of the little all the little knobs are uh, maybe set the right way. This is it seems low. Can you guys hear me? loud to myself right now. Surprise stream this. Hey Chris, how's it going? If uh, someone would just let me know if this is working, if you can hear me okay, I would appreciate it. It seems to be low coming out from my end. There must be this latency. There must be a latency. Okay. Low, distorted, and echoing. Okay. That's what we need to know. Okay, what is what about that? Does that make a difference? And I'm just going to keep talking until someone says this doesn't work. So this sounds sounds much better. Whoa, way better. Is it louder? It should be louder too. Everyone constantly complained about how quiet the old stream was, and so I've cranked the gain maybe too high. <laughs> but no, let, let me know if, um, is, is it too much? I, I, is it clipping? I'm, hit, I'm hitting red, aren't I? Yeah, how about that? How about this? If it's too loud, turn it down. No. <laughs> We're going to color today, too, I promise. I'm just, uh... Okay. Let's see. What about what I'm not talking? If I don't talk, is my air, uh, like air conditioner annoying or anything? If you're just joining, welcome. Um, I'm testing out. I had to replace my motherboard, had to reinstall Windows, had to reinstall 87,000 things on my computer. All, all because the, uh, the motherboard goes out. It's my favorite thing to replace because you just replace it and you get nothing new in return cool at all. It's just... And, you know, a day of labor later, you're still back on the same computer. So I had to, like, update the storage or something. I'm like, I'm not going to spend all day tearing my computer apart and not get an upgrade. All right. Well, good. I, I, everybody seems to be able to hear me. I can really hear myself. In fact, I hear myself too well. <laughs> but, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna try something real quick, and I don't think it's I don't think it's going to affect you guys. Um, but let's see the broadcast stream mix is not How about now. How about now. How about now. How about now. I'm looking for. Is anything going to stop my mic from doing this? No. Okay. I think we're all right. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get used to myself until I can figure out how to uh, fix this.
Welcome, everybody. I have, uh, make this bigger. Sorry, one second, guys. And we can plus and plus. I don't need any of this crap, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got, uh, so OBS has a new way of connecting to YouTube. So that's why today I've got to be careful when I, I figure out how to not get it to just jump immediately online. Normally when I click start streaming, I've got to go to YouTube and click start streaming. And now it just starts streaming. Turn your headphones down or take them off. And then I can't hear myself at all, and then it, then I'm really screwed up. Because I can't, I can't judge how loud I am very well. Anyway, how about coloring? <laughs> And yeah, I, I do know my, my camera is a little washed out looking at it. It doesn't look fantastic. Um, it was either this or, 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 the, or dark right now. And so I'll figure that out later. The thought of trying to replace a motherboard or processor makes me shiver. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's just it's, it's Legos, man. It all fits one way. They're just really expensive Legos. You can't screw up. <laughs> No, it's not as hard as people think it is. All right, if you're just joining, welcome. I'm just starting coloring. We're not really doing anything yet uh, other than trying to get my audio working. So I'll explain the layers here, and then um, if you have questions, you know, ask them. And uh, so this is the inks layer. Uh, it's on a transparent layer. There's nothing else on that layer. The paper of the layer is see through. Hey, Mr. Woods. Hey, Jason. I ha hey to all the members that are here. I see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, the flats, which are uh, the flat colors, which I'll use those as selections. And uh, we're going to make that a reference layer with the little lighthouse button right here. And that means that my wand on any other layer is going to select from the reference layer. How about that? But you guys didn't know anything about that, right? Never heard that before. All right, and uh, but anyway, we'll make a new layer here, and we'll call it the base, and that's where we'll actually do stuff. And then this is just uh, this; uh, these are not going to be useful for us. I'm going to delete them, um, and we'll start with uh, one color. How about that? That way, you never have to worry about a um, a blank canvas and the the anxiety that comes with that. Just immediately put a color down. You've made a choice. I'm seeing the chat twice, which I don't necessarily want. Um, now I'm just seeing it once. I, I, seeing one of you guys is, is enough. <laughs> My text is a little too in your face there. Oh, calm down. Yeah, jeez. There we go. That's a little less. What is the deal with that? Oh, it's it's completely. Let's let's turn that down. So there's too much contrast in my uh in my taskbar. <laughs> so let's calm that down. There we go. That's that's much less headache inducing, I think. All right. So we're starting with uh, a color. It doesn't matter what that color is. Um you can go uh, cool or warm or, or whatever you want. But, ooh, what is, uh, we did something we didn't mean to do. This is, uh, this is the first time I'm coloring anything with my new computer. So who knows what could happen. Anything could happen. Let's turn the touch stuff off. Don't do that. And right click does right click things. Yes, okay. If it doesn't, we'll fix it. So on this thing, we have, um, there's a couple of, 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 uh, of layers going on here in the storytelling. So we have this character, and we have a, a, a glove, uh, a gloved hand coming out of the wall. And then the wall has a character from our book painted on it. And so um, my thinking was, 
I don't really see any reason why we couldn't do this. I'm looking at the lighting. All right, so if we get close to this, you can see we have some dark areas and a few spots on the wall, which is a clue that the, uh, that the light's coming from the top. How about that? Really expensive Legos that get ruined if you don't put them together <laughs> wrong. You really can't, I mean, you really can't put them together wrong. There's all sorts of little safeties in place. Anyway, but uh, my, my theory here was, what if we had a light source from the top and that'll let us put a lot of contrast, really some really bright highlights and then really dark shadows underneath that hand and make it look very for, foreboding and horror movie-ish. And then, uh, but have just enough light kind of through here. That's a slow brush. Hold on one second. Oh, are my brushes acting right? Are they okay now? Are they still being weird? This is the one thing that I, uh, yeah, this is the one thing that didn't transfer completely properly, and I've got to, I had to go back and re-import um, my brushes because, like, the the consistency of the brushes are there, but, like, the, the actual brush texture didn't seem to back up correctly. So I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Other than just I re-imported the brushes again and they're at the bottom down here. Anyway, that's the plan. Let's see what happens here. Um, let's start. Let's start in Stark. Let's start in the dark. Let's start in the dark. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm not trying to put that on that layer. I'm trying to do that. And I, and I like to sort of get as dark as I'm going to get. Sometimes to start with, because that way I've got a nice barrier of, well, I know I'm not getting much darker than that, you know, in the majority of the space here anyway. You did once ruin a motherboard. Oh, of course you can ruin stuff. <laughs> of course you can ruin those expensive Legos. Um... But yeah, I've bent pins before. I, it's, it's just, it's, you kind of have to do it once, I think. If you haven't done it yet, building your own computers, you're due. We've got, we've got some John Woo um, influence back here, it looks like. We've got some doves. know where this one's heading quite yet. I've got a picture in my head, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep it fluid. Do I want it do I want it to be dark? If it's dark, we're not really gonna see these doves very well up here. It could be scary if it's at the middle of the day. Is that even scarier somehow? I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> Don't listen to me. And I, th I think I'm going to do my best to make this look like it's actually painted on the wall. Which means I'm going to paint the wall first. And then I'll paint over the top with this other stuff as if I was painting on it. But I'll leave, make sure there's a, it's on a separate layer and on a mask so that I can brush away kind of like it's worn in places and stuff like that is what I'm thinking. So at this point, I'm just thinking about the wall. Like local wall color. 
and our 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 bad our, our arm here this hand is going to be red or really lean red and so if i want that color to come forward it would help to set it up with cools cools and greens add some cool um someone was it you jason that said i needed to make a a t-shirt with cool on it if you're just joining and this is really important stuff um we, we determined a couple of weeks ago that there is an opposite of, of of warmth when you say things are warm and you add warmth th there is a cool and a cool and it's a real word So yeah, I just, I don't know what to do with this information, <laughs> but I feel like I need to do something. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, maybe it's like, maybe it's like sun, it's dusk. Maybe it's dusky. And the, but the street lights on maybe, I don't know. really don't know but I'll figure it out before I'm done that's 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 the important part that's the important part What do we have here? We have a, a movie poster for Pervert Bigfoot. Is this real? Is this real? I'm going to, I got to Google. Uh, I'm going to do this on an incognito mode because I really don't need this influencing my algorithm with Google. <laughs> but <laughs> is this, is this, a, is this planted? I'm not kidding. I'm, can I show this? Yeah. Look at this. John Lees. This is a very smart way to get us to John Lees patron. Patreon. I got it. He wrote this book, if you're confused. He wrote the book that I'm coloring. The following is an excerpt from You Are a Pseudonym's official licensed novelization of 1985 feature film Pervert Bigfoot. I think that's going to remain a mystery, John. I think that one shall remain a mystery. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is funny. That was not planned. I can't make this up. Used to these brushes being where they are. I'm gonna have to move those around probably before we're done here. What software am I using? This is Clip Studio Paint. Whatever the uh, the pro version, which is the cheap version. <laughs> I think I just uh, I just renewed it for like, or, or got the no I didn't renew it I got the version two for like thirty bucks but I haven't updated it yet. I really don't have a I don't have a good reason to just yet, to be honest. And I also just want to make sure there's nothing. I, I at this point I I, I probably would have learn that oh there's some horrific thing you know that it does to your computer or something and I, I probably would have heard by now if that were the case so it's probably fine it's probably
probably fine. Yeah, I, I thought about installing it when I did all of this, but that's a little too many uh, variables at one time. When your computer just needs to work, and it's like, it's working, leave it alone. Can you do a video tutorials on Clip Studio? I, th I think I did. I think I did like a 45 minute video on how I color with Clip Studio. It might even be called how I color with Clip Studio Paint. <laughs> Sorry, I should I should link that somewhere instead of being a smart ass. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you search on my channel, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Clip Studio, you'll 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 find it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna make a couple of selections here, and I'm going to. We're gonna lighten up this wall a little bit, and we're gonna lean it. I'm gonna lean it green. Why not? Why not? Okay, I need to take all of. Oh, I can't get all of that at the same time. Uh, I'm just gonna have to drag this all the way. Is that how this works? Is there not a faster way to do that? Is it gonna. Oh, there we go. We found the we found the perfect spot. Okay, delete. That one is screwed up. Okay, are we good now? Sorry, if you're just joining, I uh, reset everything on my computer. I had to install my motherboard, and nothing is working as I expect it to. <laughs> So this is really, uh, I mean, there, I'm thinking a little bit about light here, but it's really just kind of, I'm thinking more of just texture on the wall and making sure that it doesn't look too flat because Adam has gone to significant lengths here to make sure this wall has texture and has bricks that stick out more than other bricks and and, you know. We want to help sell that effect a little bit. And so the ones that have deeper shadows, I'm adding a little bit more light to those as if they're stuck out a little bit more because that's what's making the shadows stick out more. And my brush is very conveniently about the width of the bricks, and so I don't have to uh, worry too much about that. And I'm going to be doing colors and stuff under this or below it or around it or something. So you know, um, this is gonna this is gonna come through in various amounts <laughs> as as we go through this thing here. Yeah, so now it's just it's just a nice little subtle texture for the wall. And some of this we'll we'll end up we'll color some of this graffiti and all that stuff. We'll work on that stuff later.
someone has pre-signed this here for me. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> forgery yeah exactly <laughs> And uh, the good thing about this stage, though, uh, and doing it this way is um, because that's on an adjustment layer. Before you know, after the fact, I can brighten that, I can change that, darken that, whatever. Um, I can use that selection as a what do the video game makers call that? A normal map. So if you if you think about it's another way of thinking through this if you think about the brightest parts of this being closest to us then later on if I like paint something on this wall and want it to be worn in the areas that are most forward which would look really realistic I can use the the uh the mask for that as a selection you know and so it it gives you a lot of flexibility later uh, and I'm kind of keeping that in mind also. Um, so this hand is warm and red-ish. Actually, it's not that red. And let's make it a little bit darker to start. about there and then I think what we'll do is um, I'm gonna do this on a new layer just just in case um, now we can saturate this a little bit and brighten a little bit and start adding some form to these fingers Because to sort of sell, like to me, to help sell the effect that these things are like, you know, wrapped around this guy, um, that they're sort of pointing at us. And so we don't, we don't get as much of the effect of the length of the fingers. And so by having some really strong light and shadow, it's going to help to, you know, um, sell that 3D effect that the hand's coming out at the wall at us. Um, and, and plus, a lot of this is here already. It's in the line art. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm pulling this. I'm bringing this to mind because it's there already. <laughs> anyway, how's everybody doing? You guys good? Everybody all right? Do, 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 do. And a uh, little bit on the back here, but not quite as intense, just enough to like show it's the same stuff. I think looks pretty good. And uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm just I'm tweaking contrast a little bit. How are we looking? We're looking good. The Discord link isn't working. You've clicked it a bunch of times already. It just means it's expired. Uh, I'm 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 very sorry. Uh, I I will replace it. Clicking it repeatedly actually doesn't help it. But let's see. Send the server invite. There we go. Let me update that. All right. There you go. 
Good to go. You're attempting to code on a new computer too. How's that going? All right. I'm going to go down to... I wonder... I wonder if at... Well, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to put a clipping mask on these inks. And put it in overlay mode, I think think is what I want here. Is that going to do what I want? Oh, not if it's transparent. It won't do that that way. Let's try. What does that do? What am I doing wrong? It doesn't, oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So I'm just going to scribble the color in here. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter what that color is at this point. We can change it later. Probably will. Some of this will be a different color. That's going that way. But now we can just like take that whole thing and decide what color we want it to be. Purple's good. Maybe we can take this part and we do that a different color. when you can't see very well. Yeah, there we go. And it and it's and it looks scuffed up in the inks and so I don't really care that it looks scuffed up in the colors. If anything it'll just look better that it's scuffed up. <laughs> that makes sense. And we'll we'll do some stuff on the inside of these things too at some point, but I felt like starting here for some reason. And again, like I'm not really being too careful here about like letting some of the green of the wall come through. Um, some of this is gonna probably be painted over with her face, but like maybe I want a little bit under there in case some of that comes through. You know, that's an option. Excuse me. And all of this is really just to act as a base that I will do some more lighting effects over later also. So even what you're seeing now is not quote unquote like done. The graffiti looks great. We're getting there. We're getting there. It'll 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 build up. <laughs> it'll build up a little bit, I think. I hope. I hope.
Whoops, sorry. Tomorrow is the day going to the local comic shop to pick up uh, the f uh, trade of Blue Flame. That's right. Yeah, this is um, uh, what, uh, the uh, end after end. The first trade arc is out this week and the Blue Flame. So if you've been waiting on that, go see it. It's a two for one Kurt Wednesday. Very rare. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to get close to this wall and see if there's anything else that I am overlooking or missing here. And and most of this is is uh why are you not cooperating? There we go. You have to get lighter than 50%. <laughs> You're in hard light mode, Kurt. Um, I don't remember what I was about to say. Sorry, I had a thought briefly. I don't know if this means anything. Gary Danger, is that what it says? <laughs> I'll let someone else figure that one out. No non Kurt comic work plugs allowed here. Say <laughs> what? No, I don't think I said that. Or I misunderstood. Um, do I want... I'm debating about this time of day situation back here. Because... What if... Sorry, I'm just... It can do anything. It would all work, I think. This is on an overlay layer under here. So again, all that stuff I did earlier is kind of coming in over the top. And if I select some, based off of that, I can come in here and brush some of that away. And it reveals the color underneath. Which looks really cool, I think. <laughs> Small victories. I 
I think I can do whatever I want here with these glasses, but I do think we have established those. Excuse me, sorry. Where is it though? They're like pink or purple or... Oh, they're mostly normal, but I don't want to do that on this, I don't think. Yeah, we've done a couple of different effects in her glasses anyway, so this all kind of tracks. Yeah. What if... What if we're here? I don't know if that's enough. I might have to change some of that graffiti <laughs> if it's too close. Yeah, I think we'll do that too. So. Let's take that and turn that down some. I'm just taking some saturation out of it to lean it a little bit more toward uh, a different color, <laughs> something other than that yellow color. And these, let's see, sorry. Sorry, I'm doing more thinking than talking at the moment. Oh, was I, was I baited into doing promo for you? <laughs> yeah, check out Jason's book. Your first nationally, internationally distributed comic. In all seriousness, congratulations, Jason. That is well, well worth a plug on my, uh, a plug on this stream to the thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching. It's, it's, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, man. Like that that's that's great though, man. Congrats. Seriously, congrats. And do check out Jason's book. So now the first one's out of the way. That's the tough part. Now it's just smooth sailing. You broke in. Congrats. <laughs> People will show up to feed you grapes with fans and stuff in a little while. It's all part of the process. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. All right, so, I mean, I don't know if I we're doing, like, light and shadow, if I'm really thinking in those terms, but it would kind of look cool. 
this was rendered out a little bit, I think, maybe. When does he get the hair? <laughs> when does he get the herald that goes before him shouting "Make way"? The comic artist approaches. Yeah, I, I think it's the what a year. That's like year three. I think they start. They say, you get your own herald. Yeah, before that, you you have to announce yourself. On <laughs> this is all hitting a little too close to home right now. Okay. <laughs> oh man, no, that's funny. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bear with me one moment, guys. I'm double checking something. Do, 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 do. I'm just kind of letting her base skin tone be her base skin tone here. I can always, uh, I can shift either one <laughs> uh, after the fact. So I'm going to start with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rope made a weird noise. You can also like over paint it to, you know, whatever, like the area like this, say you color all in like this and then just switch to like transparency, like a mask and paint it out of like where you don't want it to be. So like in these shadowy areas, I'm just removing what's there, but the, the difference is you can, you get that nice soft sort of gradient in the light coming down also because it was there to begin with. So it's just a different way of, it's another way of doing this. And like I said, we can get to the base color underneath and play with that. Or we can go back to the top layer. So it's just a way of getting two colors to mix, basically. And then we'll do some, uh, we'll do some lights over the top here in a second.
I'm going to select all of the wall. All of the wall, all of the wall, all of the wall. Yeah. And um, can we do this here? Now nah, there's already stuff on that layer. I'll do this on uh, a new layer on top. Uh, there's a shocker. And just a little bit of bounce light from the... Uh, the ground it's subtle but I also want to make sure it's coming here otherwise it looks weird it's bouncing off the floor too and again I can kind of tone that down on a mask if I want to I'm going to change my mind about this sky about 12 more times, I think, before we're done. All right, so I'm actually using the same levels adjustment that I used on the wall to do a little bit more rendering on the characters here. Character. Singular. And I'm really controlling most of the uh, the value here with just pressure. Most of this is just pressure. Because it's just a mask. There's not any other colors here. And her eyes look pretty green. So we're going to... We're going to lean them a little bit lighter. And you're like, wow, that looks a little off-putting. I think it's supposed to. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You, David Bowie. What what did I say? <laughs> Another kind of fun little side effect of using a level adjustment like this to get if you already know how much brighter and know the temperature of the lighting you're using, um, it shifts depending on what's underneath it, you know. And so this is a very warm, it's not that warm, it's, it's, it leans a little bit warm. And so when you put it against something like a, a, a purple, um, it's, uh, that, that's got kind of an orange light to it, it kind of neutralizes, um, you know. And so... It, 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 you get different effects depending on what's, what's underneath, which I think is uh, a little interesting. 
not necessarily what I want there, but it's interesting. <laughs> Maybe for some, for some other technique. Yeah, I'm thinking we do like dramatic, dramatic under lighting. You can't go wrong with warm, dramatic under lighting. Oh, pressure, gotcha. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Like, yes, let's just blow out everything you've done so far. <laughs> I'm not going to keep it, I don't think. I'm just trying something. I'm just trying something. I'm basically just painting it away from all of the shadows that are here. Seeing what another, if this were cool, what it would look like. I think I like that.
I'm going to muddy up this edge here that I don't really care for. It's a little too sharp. And so, everywhere that it goes, which way would that go? It would go in the more it was stuck out. I don't know. I'm just dirtying this up. It's the only like hard digital line on this thing, I think, and so I don't like it. <laughs> Just using the mask basically to paint it away or to mess with the edge a little bit. Time to head home. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you had got to leave, you got to go. I'll tell you what. I'm going to sleep on this, I think. And uh, get back to you. I want to do a little bit more with the... Uh, there's some debris in here. That is kind of all the same value at the moment. So we'll do some stuff to bring that out. But yeah, we're getting there. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And uh, check the description, click, click buttons and whatnot. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Actually, we're streaming, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah, we're streaming in the morning. See you in the morning. Later.